Hey, what is up guys? So Trickster's looking like they're actually not that bad in OCG. So they've topped a few times and uh, previously they got first place and uh, I was reading through some of the comments and some people were like, Trickster's aren't even good from my last video. But guys, the deck is winning and it's not just like one or two decks, there's multiple tops with this deck. Now, I want to showcase off two different builds for you guys. One of them I would say is more budget friendly. Obviously, we don't know the rarity of these in the TCG, but the other one is playing uh, multiple copies of the uh, Ghost Ash or Ash Blossom. Uh, so I want to say that these are two different builds, uh, completely different builds. One of them obviously more budget friendly. We're going to be going over the first place one first, and we'll talk a little about it, and then we'll go ahead and showcase off the second one. They're both different builds, and uh, if you notice, they are OCG decks, so like there's going to be cards like Harpy's Feather Dresser, which we don't have, and there are other cards uh, like Chicken Game, which we don't have, but I can give you guys easy replacements on some of these cards. In addition to that, uh, we don't have Link cards, so if I was typing like Link Spider, uh, we don't if I could spell. <laughs> we don't have a Link Spider uh, implemented into Percy's Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro yet, so I do have the extra deck cards, it's just uh, we have empty slots right here on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, but I'll get into like, you know, all of the extra deck cards in a second. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it because, uh, you know, a lot of people were saying that this deck wasn't going to uh, have any chance in the metagame, but like I said guys, it's topping. But anyways, this one got first place at a Dragon Storm tournament, but let's go ahead and go over this build, and like I said, there are two different builds, so if you're interested in uh, checking out a completely different build, stay tuned for that one. But anyways, let's get started. So first off, we got three copies of Kadena. This is pretty much going to be in every build. Uh, so when it's normal summon, you get to add a Trickster card from your uh, deck to your hand, and then you get to start burning them. Uh, interesting, we got double copies of Honest in this build. I saw a lot of other builds just maxing out on Honest. Uh, but this one's a little bit more interesting, uh, which we'll get into in a second. But anyways, Honest is really, really strong in this deck because uh, not only being able to potentially get another, you know, 1800 damage out from your opponent, getting your Kadena to survive is really good. You already technically have the, um, I was going to call it a Trickster, we'll call it a Lycro, just to make it real fast. But anyways, being able to just bounce back your cards... Uh, is really good to survive, but sometimes you won't not even need to do that. Then you can go back next turn, and you can also have Birdman to bounce back things. There's a lot of combo plays in here, especially with Chain Summoning. But anyways, two copies of Honest in this build. Now, this one's pretty interesting because this one has Barrier Statue of the Heavens, which actually is an anti-meta-ish card. So it makes it so no monsters can be spell summoned except for light monsters, which pretty much is... Like, you don't really need to summon it in this deck as far as special summoning goes in this build. The other one is all about link summoning and tokens. It, it is, like I said, completely different. But in this build over here, it's more of an anti-meta-ish one. Uh, and then uh, you can actually get this card out with Ties of the Brethren, which we'll get into once we go over that card. But next up, we got the Trickster Lycro. Uh, so she's really good. Again, bounces back your Kadena and lets you add extra cards. Next up, we have Birdman. Bounce back your cards. Go for Synchro Place. More importantly, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Uh, next up, we have two copies of Ghost Ogre. One of the Lily Bell. So this one makes so if you inflict battle damage, which is pretty good with Honest, you're able to target a Trickster Monster in your graveyard, which 99% of the time is going to be Kadena, and you add it back to your hand. The next up, we got three copies of the Draw and Lockbird. Every build that I've been seeing, is a lot of decks just in general, are just maxing on this. Uh, it's a cheaper version of the Ash uh, Blossom, but nonetheless, it's still a decent little card. Uh, next up, we got the Harpy's Feather Dust. Obviously, in OCG, they have it legal, uh, but in TCG, obviously, swap it out for whatever uh, spell card that you want. Uh, you know, Twin Twisters, Galaxy Cyclone, you guys know the drill. Uh, but next up, we have two copies of Ties of the Brethren. So this actually lets you get out an Honest and a Barrier Statue. Uh, usually you're going like, to summon this card turn one anyways. But um, whatever you go for, uh, you're going to be able to add back Honest to your hand because you can bounce it back. So your opponent's not going to want to attack into you, which is really good because if they do, well, obviously you drop Honest and they're going to be very salty about that. But then on top of that, you have a Barrier Statue that makes it so your opponent uh, cannot special summon a monster except for Light Monsters, which a lot of decks, it really hurts them quite bad. And if you have Honest in your hand, they're not going to be able to get over Barrier Statue. So ideally you have uh, Kadena, you normal this card, or I guess you can technically special some of the other cards through whatever it means. Um, but uh, keep in mind that Ties of the Brother has the effect where, uh, where is it? Uh, you can't conduct your battle phase, and then also you can't special summon monsters. So it, there is kind of a downside if you wanted to combo with uh, Lycrosa. Uh, but uh, obviously you can bounce back um, during either player's turn, so yeah, that effect is not that bad. But uh, anyways, yeah, the, ideally you just make it so they can't special summon um, like their cards, and then on top of that, if they attack you, you drop the Honest. Uh, next up we have the Birdman, and then, uh, oh wait, we were, we were at Droll and Lockbird, right? <laughs> and then uh, next up we have three copies of Terraforming. 
uh, lets you add the field spells, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, and then we have three cards of chain summoning, so you can just spam out your board. And then we have the emergency teleport. It lets you go for synchro place. Again, intro fairy dragon, pretty good card. Next up, we have festival spinning. So you get to set two field spell cards with different names directly from your deck. Uh, on uh, to the field, one on each side. Uh, while either of those cards remain face down on the field, neither player can activate or set other field spell cards, so that can hurt other decks as well. But generally, you're just going to give them like you know the other cards, which are going to net you pretty much just advantages overall. Now, I know we don't have chicken game in the TCG, but I have kind of a suggestion for that. If you guys want to drop the festival uh, spinning or set rotation, I guess is what it's called, feel free to go ahead and do that. But um, just wanted to mention that. Uh, next up, uh, we got the Trickster Light Stage, so, and this one lets you add pretty much Kadena. Kadena adds this, whatever you want to go for, but yeah. Uh, lets you just start burning your opponent, and then you have Chicken Game, which, uh, again, starts burning you. Well, I guess it kind of burns both players, uh, but... Uh, again, there's a card that I want to just mention that's very similar. It's called Contract with Dawn Thousand. It's not a field spell, but both players lose a thousand life points and they draw a card. So I mean, it's it's very similar in a sense. So I want to say that you can just kind of swap this out. And obviously, if if you're running that, these are actually two different ones. So you might want to actually drop Festival Spitting or run another like anti-meta-ish field spell because obviously you're going to be setting it. Uh, but yeah, just keep that in mind as well. Uh, but next up, uh, we got three copies of the Trickster Reincarnation, which resets your opponent's hand. You're going to just start burning them. And then we have the Disturbance Strategy. As far as the extra deck goes, I'll mouse over them. Now, this guy did not have a side deck, which I'm like, well, I don't understand why Dark Law is here. Perhaps he was running uh, the, the Ghost uh, Reaper. That's my guess, uh, honestly. Why I, I just I didn't see a way that he could actually bust out this card unless uh, there's some new card that has interacted with it. I'm pretty sure that that was in his side deck. But anyways, uh, yeah, they've got the Crystal Wing, Black Rose, Ancient Fairy. Uh, th this one I would say Ancient Fairy is more relevant if you're playing the OCG. But I mean, you can still definitely run it. And then we have the Utopia setup, and then we have number 41, Castell, Broadbolt, and Break Sword. But again, I think these were pretty much just used... Well, Break Sword you can actually bust out in this deck. But for the most part, I want to say that like Ghost Reaper was probably used in the side deck. Now, um, as far as the other cards... Um, well, actually, yeah, like, we can go over some of the extra deck cards. So, and more importantly, uh, the Trickster Holy Angel. Really good card. It requires two Trickster monsters. He was playing two of these. Uh, and then it just lets you... Uh, do Every time a Trickster monster is normal or special... Uh, to this card's, uh, the, to a link that this card's pointing to, it just burns your opponent for extra damage. And then, um, uh, if your opponent takes damage from a trickster monster effect, this card gains attack equal to the damage that they took until the end of the turn. And then we have Star, Star Grail Dragon I'm Duck. <laughs> such a weird name, I know. This one requires a, uh, normal, uh, except for a token. Uh, so I don't, I'm not sure exactly how he uses this. I, again, it might just be because of the Ghost Reaper. Uh, but anyways, next up we got Firewall Dragon, so this is 2 plus monsters. It's a pretty decent card. Uh, it uh, makes it so uh, you can target monsters on the field and or in any graveyard up to the number of monsters in a mutual link with this card, and then you get to bounce them back. Uh, but this build wasn't running it, um, but the other build that I will be showing off right now, guys, uh, Link Spider is actually really important. It's in the other build. The other one was running some of the same cards, but uh, more importantly, this card for the other build is really important because uh, it has the effect, uh, it's just one normal monster, and then once per turn, you can special summon one level four lower normal monster from your hand to this uh, card that this uh, points to. Uh, so anyways, going on. Uh, to the second place because like I said these builds are completely different um, This one is more oriented around I would say link summoning and also they're maxed out this one I would say is kind of going to be more expensive now in the TCG if you go to it We only got one copy of mind control. So obviously uh, I mean if you want you can maybe try brain control It's got the errata, but I'm not sure how I feel about this, but this one uh, He was running with some more link cards obviously just multiple copies uh, uh, the ones that we showed, he was playing those as well. But this one is, is a different build. This one ran more copies of Honest, was also running Gofu. Uh, but what's interesting with this one is, originally I thought Link Spider was letting you normal summon one extra monster, but it's a normal monster. So, I'm not exactly sure, uh, it says one level 4 normal monster, yeah. So I'm not sure what he actually brings out with that. Perhaps there's something else, there's some interaction that I'm unaware of. But uh, anyways, this build, like I said, it's a little bit different. So we got uh, three copies, well, it's one Gofu first, and then three copies of Kadena. 
And then we got three copies of Honest, three copies of Lycro, three copies of Ghost Ashes. Again, this is why I said this was a non-budget one. And then we got two copies of Ghost Ogre, two copies of Lily Bell, three copies of Droll and Lock. We got the Harvey's Feather Duster, three copies of Mind Control, one Dark Hole, three copies of Terraforming, three copies of Cosmic Cyclone, three copies of Scapegoat, three copies of Light Siege. Now, I do want to mention that you can, as in C-A-N, yes, you can use tokens to actually go for your link monsters and that's uh, that becomes very very deadly with firewall dragon once you start bouncing back cards and you're able to attack uh, especially since the tricksters like to burn this could be an excellent way to just kind of grab your opponent's stuff and what's interesting with this is you can just take control over something else and then you can go for your link cards and then maybe you could i mean if you have two double cubs in mind control you could like maybe just finish off your opponent because uh, you can attack them for some damage and on top of that, you guys know the trickster shock type is all about burning. But uh, this little guy actually had a side deck. Um, I mean, there, there's this card that's getting really popular, Skull Meister. So during either player's turn, when a card effect is activated in your opponent's graveyard, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to negate the effect. So this guy's got a lot of negations. He's got the Ghost Ash, he's got the Droll and Lock, and he's got the Skull Meisters. And then he was playing three copies of Zafion, the Time Lord. So this one makes it so you shuffle all of spell and trap cards your opponent controls uh, into the, the deck if it battles, and then if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to draw a card. And then once per turn in your summon phase, you have to shuffle it back. So basically, this just gets rid of all of your opponent's spell and trap cards. Because my guess is how people would play against this, and this guy was thinking real smart. He's like, okay, if I go second, they're just going to sell all their cards, so I can't, like, you know, reset their uh, hand. Uh, because they're not going to draw the same amount of cards. So then he's just going to bounce everything back. And that, <laughs> my friend, is very, very dirty. And then he was also running multiple copies of Heavy Dust Storm. Again, I think it's trying to interact with that. I know, again, in the TCG, we have one copy of Maxi, but it's just in the side deck. So I feel like both these builds are pretty viable. Let me know, guys, what you think of it. And if you guys could explain the Link Spider thing, because, again, I, I thought it was you could normal summon again, which would make this deck so much better. But uh, how is the interaction with that? Because, again, it's a no you get to summon a a level 4 or lower normal monster, but there wasn't any, I'm not, again, it could be, this guy wasn't playing Ghost Reaper either, so I, I don't know what the, the thought process was with Link Spider, uh, maybe he just threw cards in there, just, just to throw cards in there, who knows, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I, I te technically, I guess you can get rid of your opponent's monster, that perhaps is the reason, you just go mind control and you just go, oh, Link Summon for that. Perhaps that was the answer to it, uh, if they had one. But uh, anyways, let me know, guys, what you thought of these builds, if you guys have any more interesting ones. There was an artifact one, uh, but the thing is is that the TCG one is not going to work with the artifact one. So I just want to go over, like, the two different builds. Again, this one was more oriented around, uh, I guess, taking your opponent's stuff and then link summoning with it and then attacking them after you've already burned them for some damage. Really dirty stuff. I think this, is a, this was a great little card that he had. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this deck actually win because a lot of you guys were like, this is a troll deck and I'm here to show you guys it, it's, it's winning multiple times. But anyways, congrats to those guys who actually uh, won playing this deck. Uh, I wish I had their name so I could give them a shout out. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys get a like button, a slapperino, and hit that subscribe button for more Trickster videos.